are fans <laughs> losing their minds when they see you and Leah up there? Yeah, it's fun. Uh, it, it's I, I was thinking about you know a, a lot of us that uh, are actors that are, have opportunities to be on shows or mm -hmm. there, there's not a lot of shows that have pieces that can live on other than the reruns, I guess. Which is to say that when you play some of these songs, it really hits a really special place in the hearts and minds of a lot of these fans that. Uh, are, are in cities that we have never had a chance to go to or are returning to for the first time in seven years since the Glee tour. So um, I thought the enthusiasm might have died out, but it's, it's new. <laughs> the no Gleeks signs of stopping. are in And there's it a new generation life. as well. Like there's even yes. new kids that are just watching it, uh, that are streaming it. So it's been, it's been very heartening to see the kind of huge swath of uh, yeah. different kinds of people all over the country that are, that are so really excited about it. I really think that show kind of changed the landscape for a lot of teens and kids who were going through a lot of things in high school yeah that show you guys hit it perfectly perfect yeah. time well, and now they're in their 20s and, and they you know they can drive exactly. themselves out to, to a concert and so yeah it's it's been really nice to connect with a lot of these these folks and to uh, celebrate the the musical history that Lee and I both share not only from Glee but from both of us doing Broadway and we've put out some of our own solo records so it's yeah. a great sort of variety show of both of us you are engaged, newly engaged. She's engaged. Yeah. Who would be who's wedding singer? It's a limited engagement singer? tour. <laughs> <laughs> well, should, Who would be who's wedding it. singer? She, she, uh, I think we'll, we'll probably you. both have to, to do yeah. that at some point. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll both be upset if either one is not singing at, uh, <laughs> at some kind of celebration. But, you know, that to me is, this is, this is the first things first, is just yeah. getting, this, the tour. getting this tour done. Yeah. What I was do just you do to relax? I was thinking about this because you're mm. so busy. So the tour's over. What does Darren Chris do to kick his feet up? Honestly, I, I wasn't planning on shamelessly plugging this, but you know, I have a bar in Hollywood with my Wait, fiance, you do? so I just play piano there. Wait, Wait what? <laughs> yeah. We did not know about I, this. I yeah. play piano I in mean, my you, bar. You asked you me, know. I'm gonna give no you big an deal. Okay. Wait, what bar and when do we go? It's called Tramp Stamp Grannies. Be there tonight. I'm there Wait, every, every night on the piano. You're there tonight? Tramp Stamp Grannies. I'm the, it's a piano bar. So. Natalie, I want to hear you say that. What's that? I want to hear Stamp Granny. Tramp Stamp Granny. Stamp granny. Yes. yes. We're Name. taking the tramp We're going. stamp back. But, but anyway, it's a piano bar. No, so that's it. where I am most nights when I'm in LA to play the piano oh and gosh. say hi to friends. I make people come to me. It's kind of a selfish Wait, uh, scheme. Wait, what drinks do you like to, like, what's your drink of choice? All of our drinks have really silly, irreverent names, some of which I probably shouldn't say in the air. But, no, do uh, it. Say there's, it. Uh, there's, uh, there's the boob soup, which is pretty popular. <laughs> what's boob, in it? boob soup. I don't know, but I love it. But it looks cute. It's like a little, like, like bathtub of, like, it's like a champagne cocktail with light cheese in it. That look eerily like boobs. Okay, we got ourselves another <laughs> Hollywood adventure. First of all, this Done. is so, is there something about kicking back at the piano at a great bar? It's so festive. Like that feeling, maybe it's a dream of you mine. You know what, it's not work if you're having a good time. So yeah. uh, I, I enjoy playing music, not for myself, but I like bringing people together. And again, that's sort of what ties into the tours. You know, I, I really do enjoy um, playing music for people because it's not about me. It's about community and bringing folks together and uh, having uh, giving strangers a reason to connect. So on a, on, like a good on a smaller level, exactly. That's yeah. what we do. We have a nice little sing along. Yeah. So you you don't even have to put tips in my jar, man. Just show up and I'll uh, <laughs> order the boom soup. Order the, the boom soup. soup. Yeah. We'll How many happens. instruments do you play? A few, but like I didn't. Not well. Uh, Are you kidding no. me? I am looking at all this. What don't you play? I should ask. Violin, There's drums, a whole lot. guitar, mandolin, mandolin, piano. What is a mandolin? Mandolin? Come guitar. on, it's, it's like a light. It's a tiny uh, ding, double ding, string ding, 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 violin. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, no, that's a Kazoo. that's a banjo, isn't it? Yeah, that's a, nope. It's a mandolin. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I was right. Yeah. What a mandolin! Mandolin's like a tiny violin, except yeah. you play. It oh yeah, no, yeah. that was wrong. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we were talking about your role on the FX. Uh, yeah, back to that thing. Sorry. Back to, <laughs> when you got this role to play him, first of all, how familiar were you with the story? I was about as familiar as I think most people. I think unless you were. Uh, in certain communities in the fashion world or living in Miami in, in the 90s, uh, there was sort of a peripheral knowledge about it. I mean, I was aware from pop culture history that Johnny Versace had been, had been tragically murdered, uh, but th that was about it. I knew that the kid that, that killed him was half Filipino, which behooved me because I'm a half Filipino mm -hmm. kid. So, but that's about it. Yeah. As far as the, the, the spectrum of everything else that happened, which our show kind of almost just barely, you know, Hits the service on, and, and but even then, you know, reaches so much. Um, there, there's, there was so much more information that I didn't know. So. Well, you're up for Emmy consideration, yes. which, having seen your performance, I mean, you are going to get an Emmy nomination. Better. Which, I mean, yes. but that That's transformation her. and to get into that mindset, what did you have to do? Uh, well, luckily, uh, we have great writers, uh, and one, uh, Tom Rob Smith, who wrote most of the series, and uh, Ryan Murphy obviously has an extraordinary track record with, with handling these stories, uh, as with uh, Brad and Nina, who are the executive producers of the previous series, the, uh, 
people versus OJ Simpson. So you just, you know, you have, you have enough Sherpas to guide you up yeah, the mountain that, you know, you just kind of uh, have to trust the story and then, oh. I don't know, and then you just, well, you just do luck. it. <laughs> Fantastic. By the way, we want to come to your house Emmy morning. We know you're going to be nominated. Mm -hmm. We need to yes. show up with like come a to my bar that we want to bring. Come to bar. We're going to come to. I'm the just boob bringing soup. it back to the bar and the boob soup. <laughs> God, the boob soup can. right Tramp now. Tramp stamp grannies, Tramp stamp grannies baby. <laughs> and boob soup. Darren and Leah Michelle on their LMDC tour are still available. Go check them out.